Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Irene. And I'm Jacques of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. I see there's been an excellent review out about RADSEQ. Restriction site associated DNA sequencing? It's quite an old technique. I didn't realize people were still using it. I thought so too, but it's extensively used in ecological and evolutionary genomics, mainly for SNP discovery and genotyping. It is a reduced representation sequencing approach that targets a subset of the genome. So, for a given budget, you get greater depth of coverage per locus, and you can sequence more samples. Functionally, it's a bit like an array, but you don't need to know the genome sequence or the SNPs in your target population. They give a great example of the Heliconius butterflies. That's not exactly a common model organism. <laughs> yeah, but they're interesting because they're extremely diverse in their wing color patterns. As a result, they're very difficult to identify. Here are two Heliconius melpomini subspecies. Hard to believe, they look completely different. Those bright patterns usually are a warning to predators. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, this is where it gets interesting. There is a mimic. Heliconius erato, that actually developed about 20 million years ago, but recently adapted to look almost identical to scare off predators. Well, I can see how genotyping would be useful in that case. I recently saw a paper where they were able to determine the population structure and spawning sites of rainbow trout from the Fall River watershed in Shasta County, California. It is interesting that the spawning sites were only a couple of really small areas in the watershed. Yes, it is critical that those areas be conserved. This is a very good example of how genomics can be used to guide conservation efforts. In that paper they used Rapture, which is a streamlined version and an optimized version of RADSEQ. There are many different uh, versions of RADSEQ and ultimately the best one depends on your experimental design and the questions you are asking. The review contains a lot of useful information on that. We would love to hear your thoughts about the show and topics you would like us to discuss. To subscribe to our Simon channel, find other episodes or get more information, click on the boxes on your screen. Until next time, bye. Bye.